Hey guys. Please subscribe my channel. Today our topic is about dewatering. So move toward our today's topic. Dewatering. Dewatering is a term to describe the removal of groundwater or surface water from, for example, a construction site. In construction, the water is pumped from wells or sumps to temporarily lower the groundwater level to allow excavation in dry and stable conditions below natural groundwater level. There is a variety of pumps used for it. Submersible pumps, self-priming pumps, borehole pumps, etc. But the pump choice always depends on the job conditions. Why it is important to choose the right dewatering methods. The presence of undesired water in a construction site can lead to safety risks, increased costs, and delays to your project. Therefore, when preparing to excavate the surface or to perform dry site construction work, it is critical to use the right technique to control, manage, and remove water. This becomes even more important as the geology and hydrology will vary from location to location. Main dewatering techniques, construction dewatering methods, refer to techniques such as well points, deep wells, bypass, and flood control. In well point and deep wells, submersible pumps are installed in a drilled well shaft. While in bypass and flood control, pumps are placed in the area that needs to be dewatered. Let's review these common techniques. Well points. In well point, wells are drilled around the excavation area with submersible pumps installed in the well shaft. These pumps are connected to a header pipe, allowing the groundwater to be drawn up by the pumps into the well points and then discharged deep wells. In deep well, one or several individual wells are drilled and submersible pumps are placed in each shaft. The deep well technique is best suited for deep excavations where large water volumes need to be discharged, bypass dewatering. When sewer lines need maintenance, the sewage flow is pumped around the damaged pipe section. Using dewatering pumps, the pumps are installed upstream of the maintained pipe section. Bypass technique is also common in irrigation and construction projects. Flood control. Flood control refers to all methods used to reduce or prevent harmful effects of flooding from, for example, stormwater and heavy rainfall, be it construction, tunneling, or mine work. Site managers need to be prepared for potential site flooding, keeping pumps that can move high volumes of water against low head pressure nearby. The same applies to elevated water levels and channels that could have a major impact on local communities when roads and houses get flooded it is important that municipalities have good flood protection and are prepared to act quickly on these occasions tunneling dewatering tunnel constructions are complex work sites where many variables need to be taken into consideration significant volumes of water from the construction site need to be removed in order to stabilize the ground or prevent flooding of the work area. Tunnel boring machines and drilling equipment require a reliable supply of cooling water, which must be recovered, extracted, and treated after use. Tunneling projects require many dewatering pumps on site, ranging from small submersible pumps to very large units for large volume dewatering applications. If you enjoyed our today's video, then like and share our today's video and subscribe our channel.